All right, this video is how I put all these parts in a wooden box. It looks like this. The goal for this case was to keep it quiet. In order to keep it quiet, you need to keep the parts cool. Remember AMD cool and quiet? That's exactly what I was going for. In order to keep the parts cool, you need a lot of airflow, but you can do that a variety of ways. You can just blow a ton of air with really loud fans over the parts, but then you're missing the quiet part. <laughs> also, I'm most familiar working with wood, so I wanted to make it out of wood and I have the tools for it. And I think most people have, and that also makes it a little bit cheaper than other options. Let's take the lid off so we can see why it is the shape it is. So initially I wanted to make it a little bit smaller, but then when I started looking into the cost of the parts, uh, a lot of the small parts are more expensive than their standard ATX parts. I wanted to build a case that can fit standard ATX parts. So now I have an MATX board, but it still fits a standard ATX motherboard, even though I don't think I will ever use one. Sometimes that can come in handy if, you know, some features are not available on the MATX version and you really want those features, then you can get the standard ATX. So because I wanted to go with standard ATX parts, then I need 16 inches of width inside. To not make the case look weird, I w wanted to make it 16 by 16, so that it's a square. I now have three 120 millimeter fans in the front to provide the airflow, but I also wanted to be able to put those three fans on the bottom of the case, sort of like the Leon Lee O11 dynamic, so that you have no visible holes on the outside and it just looks like a solid piece so you can still get the airflow but you can't see any holes if you're wondering how to build this it's super easy just look up how to build a drawer because that's basically what it is and it's like a kitchen drawer or a drawer for a cabinet the only difference is that it has a top instead of like being open at the top. All the dimensions for how big the holes are and where what the hole spacing is for all the parts, you can find on an article from Protocase. So as you can see, it's not finished yet. That's something that I would recommend if you build a case finish it before you put parts in it because <laughs> you're not gonna take it apart anytime soon as you can see the the dust cover this is a magnetic dust cover that i uh, got on amazon but it's just held on with like uh, duct tape because i can't really stick it to the case yet because I need to finish the case and I need to stain it. Also, one thing that I would recommend, well, it, it seems to be working right now, but cutting so many holes in a piece of wood, it does weaken it a lot. Another thing that I would like to upgrade is the back plate. It is working right now, but it's not as strong as I want, especially if I would put this case up then I'm not sure it will hold uh, all the pieces, especially the power supply that, that will pull a lot on the, on the back. So what I would like to do is put a metal back plate all across the back. Currently, I don't have any hard drives or SSDs in this case. I'm just using an NVMe drive and it's been working fine. Eventually, I'll need some bulk storage and so I'm planning to get two hard drives but I need to mount them somewhere so one thing I did is 3d print these mounts uh, they have holes here for the screws for hard drives 
same on the other side. And then I'll mount these to the side of the case. If I would have printed them out of like standard material like PLA or something, then that would cause a lot of vibrations to transfer to the case and make it really loud. So I printed these out of TPU and it's really flexible. But once the hard drives are in, in here, they'll firm this up and then uh, I'll screw them here, here and here to the side of the case. What I'm thinking is to put them right here. So I have two of these mounts. I'll just put one here and one here. And then I can um, mount my hard drives right there, vibration dampened, and it won't cause too much noise. It won't resonate with the case, hopefully. Leave a comment if you already built a case out of wood or if you want to build one and you're just looking for tips or you want to give me tips how to make it better. And do this if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.